Convicted Orange County killer is dodging the death penalty for the time being after convincing a judge to give him a new lawyer. Four years after Juan Rosario burned his victim alive inside her own home, her family left the courtroom today in tears. Channel 9's Field Sutton covered the original trial from start to finish. Field joins us live in Field. The jury recommended a death sentence 11 months ago. It has been nearly a year, so this is clearly one of the best examples I can think of of the wheels of justice turning slowly. On the one hand, things keep getting delayed. On the other hand, if they weren't, it would just open all this up for grounds for appeals. On the same bench in the same courtroom where she's been sitting for years now, the daughter of Elena Ortega seemed stunned and sad to know her mom's killer gets another reprieve. It's entitled to my right to have counsel that is actually fighting for me. Today, Judge Letitia Marquez kicked the main lawyer off the case based on a rant from Juan Rosario that came right after an impassioned plea to save him from a lethal injection. With the, you know, evolving standards of decency that we've had over the years in capital cases, um, these issues need to be further explored. Roger Wheaton had spent the morning arguing Rosario is mentally handicapped to the point he can't be executed under existing Florida law. Prosecutors say that's bogus. We have a bare allegation that an expert who I've never seen, spoken to, or heard from in, form, in any form whatsoever tested Mr. Rosario's IQ. The claim is that Rosario did poorly in school, never learned to read or write, and couldn't see how wrong it was to kill Ortega that night in 2014, a claim now that has to wait while the court finds a new lawyer. This would be a blessing in a lot of respects for him because all the things we were trying to do can probably be done now. With the case in limbo, doctors have a chance now to do brain scans and everything else somehow left undone during a four-year murder case. Late this afternoon, the judge did appoint a new lawyer. He's got a week to get up to speed, and then next week there's a hearing to decide what's next for Juan Rosario. Live in Orlando, Field Sutton, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.